Innovators! We are finally back with more glitched, but this time we're going to do things differently. So, first, I'm going to refresh everyone's memory on what I have on my team. And then we're going to move on to future me. Kind of summarizing what I'm doing for a big chunk of the game. So we'll be skipping over a bunch because I just want to get this playthrough done. Alright, I just want to get it done. So first up, we have Larry the Hunttail. Hasty Nature has Grizzle, which I'm happy about. And he also knows won't pull and bite. Not great, but better than nothing. And I never I need to take Mizuchi here to the name raider because I have not named him yet. At least in game. But anyway, Mizuchi is our Dragonair, Lonely Nature, Flame Body, Rapplier, Thunder Wave, and Twister. Then we have... I still don't know how to pronounce his name, but we have... Quillen the Rapidash, Timid Nature. Has Minus for some reason. Quick Attack, Growl, Caleb, and Ember. Not great. And then we have, next up we have one of my favorites, Red Button the Volt Orb. Timid Nature, Leftover, Holding Leftovers. Has Hyper Cutter, which makes zero sense, by the way. And he's only got Tackle, Charge, and Screech. Not good. Then, uh... Great. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember my tentacle's name. I am going to have to look at last video. And then future me can just, you know, edit it in. Jolly Nature Drizzle, Poison Thing. Poison Sting, Supersonic Constrict. Then we have Great. The Timid Mr. Mime with Pure Power. Now, as far as I'm aware, Pure Power doesn't boost attack on the stat screen. But if I'm remembering correctly, it doubles its physical attack. So in other words, Great is a bounced attacker. And he knows Confusion, Barrier Substitute, and Meditate. Am I happy about Great? No, I'm still not. <laughs> right, thank you, Pass Me, for giving me more work than I would probably have liked. Uh, anyway... If you appreciate the work I'm putting on into this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. I moved on to... I moved straight into Mount Moon to get my first encounter for Mount Moon. Needless to say, at the end of my last recording for Pokemon Fire Red, I was feeling pretty underwhelmed that I got stuck with a Mr. Mime. So, I was pretty happy to see an Agron appear. Oh, there's the encounter. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, I like this. I freaking like this. I like this a lot. Ah! There's the graphic layer I was expecting. Oh, 
Well, I can't use the Whirlpool, I'll probably kill it. But, it has a Drown Up. I'm scared to hit it, honestly. Cricket, we'll go for it anyway. Cricket, we ball. Come on, Pokeball! Yes! Ooh! Frick yes. We have an Agron. We have a Pseudo. What do we name our big tank girl? Oh, it'll fit perfectly. Big Bertha the Akron. <laughs> oh, I am actually happy about that. And we done. I'm actually building a leather team. What the frick? I have two Pokemon with Drizzle, and now I have an Agron with Trout. After catching Big Bertha, I decided to train, and then... On my way back to the Pokemon Center, I ran into a Reggie Rock. Uh oh. And, uh, I had my first casualty of the run. For those of you who don't know, Explosion Deals has a power of 250 and has the target's defense, effectively doubling the move's power. Because it has the Pokemon's defense, there was no guarantee that Big Bertha was going to survive anyway despite having double resistance to normal type moves. Ah! I knew it! I didn't know if I could escape the explosion. So I, I was like, maybe Drizzle would save my Pokemon from the exploding Regirock. And I was wrong. Ah! See, I thought it would be a good idea to switch to Tentacruel. Because... Tentacruel had Drizzle, and I remembered something about rain stopping explosion. So, I was hoping to keep myself from losing any Pokemon to this Regirock. Now, unfortunately, the part where rain prevents explosions is just in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. With Tentacruel now gone, Great was right back on the team, much to my genuine displeasure at the time. But, it was either I had Great, or a seal that could only attack with headbutt. While I like seal better than Mr. Mime, we had a clear winner on who was replacing Tentacruel, who... Fortunately, I don't need a name for that Tentacruel anymore thanks to it dying, which is the only good part about losing Tentacruel. When I finally reached the end of Mount Moon, I was, of course, stopped by the Super Nerd at the end, who I easily defeated. Help me. Right. Hey, stop! I found these fossils! They're both mine! I honestly don't care about this one. <laughs> Ghastly... And... Bertha... Bertha's got this. Easily. Bertha does have mud slap. Bertha is now asleep. Guess what? I'm awakening!
I find it funny how I'm accidentally building a weather team. Another ghastly, wow. So anyway, great start. Great. This is your big chance. Do us proud. Great's got this. Confusion! Ah! <laughs> it actually got confused. <laughs> I then took the Helix Fossil and went to Cerulean City where I ran into Akuno again. I should have healed before running into Akuno. Yo, Nova! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great! I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon! I'm gonna beat their ass! <laughs> Here, let me show you what I- I got the line up. Here, let me see what you caught, Nova! Servant Akuna! <laughs> Who are you serving now? <laughs> oh, he's got a lair on. That's funny, because I have an Agron. We might be able to take him after all. I don't remember what a starter is. That That's going to be annoying. Fishing with fight. Gone. Out of here. Next! I think that is a starter. <laughs> Hold on. That... I think that actually is a starter. <laughs> Just a dinky little sunburn. Oh my gosh, I hope he keeps that. Beldo. The Bell be dumb though. I am not funny. Oh, right, I've got rain. Ah, silly me. I guess I won't use Ember. Bertha, get out here. We're gonna slap some more mud in his eye. Actually, I don't think I've done any mud slapping this now. Let's fix that. Bertha, you should get a crit. Now! Dang it. Bad part is a crit would have killed. Oh, there's the crit! <laughs> Sun boosted him, or what you gonna do? This is the part where you. You know what? You should faint yourself now! Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon! That added a lot of pages to my Pokédex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokémaniac. He invented the Pokémon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I'd better get rolling. Smell you later! Oh, here he comes back. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. A chatty gossip like you, that thing's perfect. <laughs> I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. 
Alright, this time I really am done. Well, yeah. Is it wrong that I want to beat him again immediately? After being a Kuno, I then made sure to clear out Nugget Bridge. It was here that my opinion of Braid had finished doing a 180. You know what? I want to lead with Great here. I think Great can run house. I am starting to believe in the Mr. Mind. Substitute. Just immediately. Okay, you, Sal. Great. You got a real chance here to do some damage with Double Slam. Do it. You should hit five times now. Oh, yeah, it's three. Great actually is running house. What the heck? <laughs> Another Poochie. Oh my gosh! Great, if you keep that up, I'm going to have to change your name to GOAT. I'll still keep it lowercase, but... <laughs> Uh, I think you might deserve a little less sarcasm in your name. <laughs> I'm going to go with Meditate now. Now, Double Slap! Great is running house on a full dark type team, and he's not even a fairy type yet. What the heck? Great is pulling his weight. When I first caught him, for those of you who re don't remember, or don't know, I was so underwhelmed by getting a Mr. Mime. If anything, I might consider using him as Death Potter, but oh my gosh! I am... Very impressed with the Mr. Mime right now. Congratulations! You beat our five contestant trainers! You just earned a fabulous prize! By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. No. Want to join? No. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, join us! I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Meditate. Race to attack. That does nothing!
Pidgey. You know what? I will tell you what. You should jump. Well. I did not trust that to not be a quick attack. <laughs> Great almost died immediately. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Red button, get out here. I'm pressing you now. Right, as I was saying... You should jump off Nugget Bridge now! <laughs> ah, you're good! With your ability, you can become a top leader of Team Rocket. Come on, you got the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste! Of course, after beating up the rocket at the end of Nugget Bridge, I decided I still needed to do more training before I tackled Misty. So after beating up every trainer on my way to Bill's, I then turned around and got everyone up to level 19 or higher. And then I proceeded to kick down the door to Cerulean Gym. <laughs> Little did I know, my battle with Akuno was preparing me with my gym battle against Misty. Hi, you're a new face! Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. I do not do a good voice for Misty! In fact, I feel like I'm slowly approaching, approaching Yzma's voice, if anything. Like, I'm not there yet. Oh, look at that! Just don't have a rock move. That's fine. You know what? I was going to stop saying this for the rest of the video. I was going to stop you this doing this meme for the rest of the video. But you should land a crit now. Ah, I was hoping for at least a bird. But. There's the crit! <laughs> I knew it! Oh, it's only someone after! It's only someone after! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hi, Skarmory! You like the sun? So do I. It's great for boosting Ember. Here, let me turn up the... It really is too late for you to do anything. You should burn now! Wow! 
Wow, you hurt too much! Alright! You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me! Easy, Jen! The Cascade Badge will makes all Pokémon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more! You can now use Cut any time, even out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite DA. DMO3 features Pet. Use it on a worthy Pokemon. So, what I'm hearing is you like to kiss people. Most likely on the cheek. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. And oh my gosh, I have so much editing ahead of me. Why do I do this to myself? Well, it's quite simple, really. I just want to knock out this playthrough. So, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. And subscribe for more. Because you know I'm going to finish this playthrough at some point, And then I just lose my game. Anyway, if you want to see the rest of my run done this way, be sure to comment below telling me so. <laughs> see you next time!